Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about uh, this fabulous photograph here which is a little fashion shoot that I put together in Los Angeles at the Sepulveda Dam. So stay tuned and I'll tell you how I put it all together and what was involved. Plus some behind the scenes of me actually shooting. <music> Well, welcome back. Now, how did I get this uh, fabulous photograph and a few others that I'm going to show you here today? Well, first off, I'm going out on location to an area where I've never been before. So the first thing I want to do is find out if it's OK for me to go and shoot there. Now, the, uh, the way to do this is either go there yourself or send somebody. So what I did was I sent an assistant out to take some photographs, as you can see here, of the location to let me know what it kind of looked like when you're standing there. And also, was it easy access to get there? Was it a no-go place where we couldn't go, where I can take a small uh, team of people with me? Just some fine details, along with the fact that if you're shooting just anywhere outside of a city, you're going to run across what I consider graffiti, which is not very attractive sometimes. Uh, unless, of course, you run into a Banksy. Now, if you don't know who Banksy is, he's an English artist, and you can Google that and find out all about Banksy. But anyways, I digress. So I send out the, my assistant. He checks the place out, figures out the best time to be there, which was a window between 3.30 and 5, before the sun dipped down too low, to use open shade. Now, the thing about using open shade is it's flat light, and you need something to reflect a little bit of bright sunlight back in again. Or, in my particular case, I decided to take a portable battery-operated strobe with me. I took my trusty ring light. And as you can see here, I'm working, and you can see the, uh, the ring light uh, on a stand, which is the first part of what I did. So we walked for about 20 minutes with a minimal amount of equipment that I needed. Camera, or should I say cameras, because if you're going to go on location, there's nothing worse than having one camera, and then that camera doesn't work. So cheap insurance, take a second camera with you. So I took two cameras with me, a couple of uh, lenses, and of course my trusty ring light and a stand. And the model brought a couple of outfits, and uh, my assistant um, brought a changing booth. Uh, one of those things that you just sort of unravel and open up so the model can change and have a little bit of privacy. Now, we slept over to the spot where I wanted to be. We looked around and decided that uh, the one side of the area was the best place to shoot, giving me the view that I wanted, which was having um, all the um, building part or the concrete part behind the model. Now, I wanted it slightly out of focus, and I didn't want to also blow out the background, so I needed to get my exposure correct. And what I did was I took a couple of tests, and the great thing about having the LED screen on the back is you can just dial in your exposure, shoot a couple of times, and get it looking the way you want, and then you're ready to rock and roll. And as you can see with this little video here behind the scenes, uh, I'm instructing the model and moving around her shooting pictures, and I've got the ring light on a uh, light stand. Now, I used a zoom lens so that I could zoom in and out without having to worry about messing around with my exposures, um, either, you know, jacking the flash up or brighter or, or lowering it or doing what I want. So once I dialed in the exposure I wanted, I could just walk around and uh, shoot the images that I thought looked great for me. The other thing is, is that don't think for one minute that just lighting and camera equipment is important for you so that you get great photographs. It also depends on your subject matter. Now, sometimes you work with professional people and sometimes you work with whoever you can get to model for you if you're starting out or if you know it's friends and people that aren't professionals. Now, I work with a lot of professional people, so I don't have to worry too much on telling them what to do, but I do need to explain to somebody on my set about what my vision is or the ideas that I have so that they get on board and they understand what it is that I want them to do. So instructing a model is very important. So you can learn as much as you like about latest camera equipment and lighting, but if you don't know how to work with somebody and you don't know how to position them or uh, get them into the right spot at the right time, um, all that other information is just rubbish. I like to think I know how to work with people since I've been doing this for over 30 years. And you can imagine I've had a lot of people in front of me and taken their photograph. Now, once you've got your model in the position that you want and you move her around and you get this kind of thing and this kind of thing, 
you can then say to the model, hey, you know, is there anything that you think you might want to interject into the shot? And if it's a professional model, they usually have a few of their own moves themselves, and uh, they can uh, add to the, uh, the mix of what you're trying to do that day. My advice is, Check out a location before you go there. Make sure there's no surprises. Uh, take the right equipment with you. Maybe take a backup stuff just in case something uh, you know goes down or doesn't work. Then you otherwise you're gonna you know have to schlep back to the car uh, wherever you left it or the truck or wherever whatever it is that you uh, went to the location in. Uh, so take the stuff with you. Be organized and at the same time don't dismiss a model if she has a couple of ideas. You never know what might happen. Well anyway, if you like that story, you might want to uh, check out my website andrefelixphoto.com and uh, I've got a blog on there that's got lots of uh, information that might help to inspire you into doing something of your own. I also have a book, a PDF, that you can download on tips and tricks and that has a lot of photos and information in it too with some diagrams so that also might help inspire you to go out and do something of your own. You can follow me on Instagram and if you have subscribed I'd like to thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. Uh, like and share, leave me a comment. If you haven't subscribed maybe it's time for you to subscribe and all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.